Growing up, I got I got beat up and jumped and bullied, and I got beat up a lot. Like it was it was constant. It was constant, and I re began to recognize that, you know, why are these people picking on me, and why is it just me? And I began to recognize that perhaps it's the energy that I'm putting out. It's the energy that I'm putting out which says, "Hey, you can pick on me. I'm easy prey. Right? I'm easy pickings." And so I, I learned martial arts. And so I got beat up real bad, um, real bad. Um, and um, the the one event, I guess I'll talk about it. The one event that happened to me that really pretty much broke everything was that we were at a family event. Uh, and I was probably about 13 when it was a family event. We were, um, I grew up on the north side of Milwaukee, so rough neighborhood. If anybody knows about Milwaukee, like, like in, the, in the 90s, this was a rough time, rough neighborhood, and um, very rough. So we had a family event. Kids were playing outside. I was the only one who was, and I would say kids, I'm like, I'm 13, everybody else is 10 and under. And so I'm outside, all the adults are in the house, and then neighborhoods come, kids come in, and they start picking on the kids. And so I tell all the kids to go inside, and then uh, I get sucker punched in the face. So all of a sudden, and then I hit the kid back. And all of a sudden, 15 kids are swarming after me. I look, I see all these little kids, all my little cousins, and, you know, and I tell them all to go inside. And so I'm getting punched in the face, and then I run towards the alley. I run towards the alley, and, uh, and I'm fighting with the little, you know, I'm just throwing hands out there. And uh, I'm getting punched, I'm getting jumped, stomped on, kicked in my face. I'm out on my all fours, and I'm getting kicked in the throat, kicked in the face, stomped in my face, stomped on my back, kicked in the crash, kicked in the ribs. You just feet and hands from all different angles. And I remember, and, and, and I was, I was, as, I was, as I was huddled, surrounded by 15 kids getting pounded, I remember looking to, to my left, and looking at all the little kids, and they were all inside. And so, and then, uh, and then some of the adults came out, some, maybe like four or five, they came out, and then, but I was like a, a half a block away, because I wanted to take all that violence away from the kids. And I said, today, and in, in my head I said, you know, today, if today's the day I die, this was a worthy death. Yeah. And then I heard, nope, today's not the day. <laughs> Fight! Get up! Fight! And so I got up, I swung, I hit this kid, I started swinging, and then I took off and I ran back towards the house. Once I ran back towards the house, um, the adults were there, and so all the kids, they, all the neighborhood kids, they scattered. Um, and from there, I s slept at my cousin's house, and I slept at my cousin's house, and I woke up the next day, like, oh, that was just all a dream. <laughs> and I started moving, and everything hurt. Everything hurt. And I had to pee. And so I got up, and I was like, oh. So I'm hobbling my way to the bathroom. I walked past the mirror. I took a quick glance in the mirror, looking at this face I barely recognize. And I just, nope, my, my urgency to pee is more than anything else. I, as I was peeing, I saw tinges of blood in my urine. I was 13 years old. And then I recognized that, um, I was like, whoa, I'm, I'm peeing blood. And um, after that, I, was, I started crying, and then I stopped, and then I really washed my hands, and I really was looking in the mirror, looking at my face, and I couldn't recognize myself. Uh, this eye was swollen shut. This eye was, you know, and my lips were huge, and blacks and bruises and everything. My body was hot. It was hot. And for the next two weeks, um, I couldn't recognize my face. I couldn't recognize who I was looking at every morning when I looked in the mirror. From that point on, I decided that this is it. I no, I no longer want to be a weakling. I no longer want to be somebody that pick, people can pick on. Uh, I'm going to fight back. And so, so then from there, I learned martial arts and Qigong. This is how I learned. I started my martial arts journey and my Qigong and meditation journey, which allowed me to enter to, to, to being who I am today. So some people can look at that event and say, oh, that's a horrible experience. 
Let's remove that. No, but if you remove that, you remove, you remove me. You take away who I am. That pivotal moment that was a traumatic event in my life caused me and shaped me to be who I am today. And so from that, that's, that's, that's a character development moment and everybody has these, these stories within you, those challenges, they're there, they're giving you opportunities for, for growth, personal growth. So I don't like them either, you know, but when you get through the process, you grow from it and you learn from it.